What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle and today I am very excited because, well, last night when I was working on a little bit of housework, I went ahead and checked Facebook Marketplace um, and it turned out that there is a guy about, uh, it's about a half hour drive from me and he's selling a bulk uh, candy slash vending machine uh, rack. So it has three uh, of the like gumball slash candy machines set up for 25 cents on the bottom and then two toy capsule machines on the top one set up for 50 cents and the other set up for 75 cents so and he was asking 150 for it so i reached out to him and then i posted on one of the facebook pages um i'm on the vending nation facebook page asking everybody like how much it was how much it was worth what kind of machine it was because i couldn't quite tell so it turns out it's a northwestern machine which is really awesome because if anyone knows anything about vending and the bulk vending business that is they should know that northwestern is one of the best machines that you can buy so the fact that he was selling this whole thing for only 150 bucks was really awesome and then i went ahead and tried to negotiate a little bit with him and i got him to uh, drop the price down to 120 and i'm going to meet him today to pick it up and then uh just a nice little bonus is that there's still a bunch of inventory in the machine as well as he said that there's still quarters now there is one little catch though and that's because uh well that's the fact that I have to get new replacement locks for the thing. Um, he doesn't have the key, and I don't think he knows the key number for me to just buy keys, so I'm going to have to uh, vend out the, um, sorry, not vend out, but uh, drill out the locks and then get replacement locks and everything for that. But there's also quarters in it still, so I'm going to go ahead and drill that out, see how much quarters are in the thing, and uh, go ahead and give it a nice refurbish, make it all nice and pretty, and then find a location for it. I have one place in mind that I think that will go for a rack, actually, which is very exciting. Um, so hopefully they say yes to the rack. They've already said yes to a uh, gumball machine, and they were just were super excited about that. So I think they're going to go ahead and say yes to the rack as well, or instead of, rather. But um, I'm going to go ahead and head up there to pick it up. But before I do that, if you all could just take a split second out of your day to hit that like button. Uh, and if you want, if you have any questions or, you know, uh, anything, leave a comment as well. But, you know, just make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It really keeps me encouraged to keep making these awesome videos for you all. So uh, go ahead and hit that like button and stay tuned. All right, so got the machine from the guy, no problem at all. Gave him his 120 bucks. And uh, now I'm back home, gonna go ahead and drill out all the locks and show you how much is in it.
All right, so it's actually right about two weeks after the fact, but uh, I did go ahead and drill out all those locks like you could see in the previous clip, and I collected everything that was in all of the machines. Uh, it ended up being uh, about $45 in uh, the whole thing altogether. So not too bad considering I paid 120 for it. And then I did have to go ahead and buy replacement locks for all five because I drilled them out so they're no good anymore. Uh, but I went ahead and did that and it cost about 78 bucks which was a little bit more than I expected. But altogether my all-in cost for this five-headed rack ended up being about 150, 155 dollars. So I'm actually very happy with that considering a new one of those machines would cost probably a good 450 new or even a good 2 250 used. So I can't complain at all. Now there I did have a place that I was planning on putting that one, but the place it was going to go in uh, it had like this little arcade area for kids or whatever and I was going to put it there. However, what they're doing is they're doing a big old uh, remodel and they're actually taking out that area and putting like a host stand and kind of transitioning it more into a restaurant rather than having the arcade and bar area. So they're going to do more of a restaurant and bar thing rather than the arcade kids area and all that. So unfortunately I don't think it's going to be a great place to put a five headed rack and uh, the problem with the bigger machines like this is one it's harder to find locations because it takes up more space but two you also need to have a much higher traffic location uh, to make it worthwhile of putting something that big there so what I think I'm going to do instead of trying to find a location for the big one um, is I'm going to buy a couple extra stands and just take off each head and put it on a stand or maybe take you know uh, two of the machines and put it on a stand and do it that way and I can spread it out to a few different locations. Now I did actually just talk to a place today. Uh, the manager or owner wasn't in um, but they did say they would give me a call back. Honestly I doubt it because usually when you get uh, we'll give you a call later on uh, it ends up kind of just amounting to pretty much nothing. So we'll see but um, Hopefully that's not the case, but most likely it is. So I'll probably just going to have to go ahead with that plan and buy a couple of uh, of stands and uh, disassemble that and you know turn it into say you know three uh, two double heads, one with a toy, one with a gumball, or sorry, uh, two that have a toy and a gumball, and then one just gumball. So I'll take that and turn it into basically three different setups. Uh, so I think that'll do pretty well. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in, watching. Uh, we've definitely been growing the channel pretty quickly here lately, which is freaking awesome. We're almost at 250 subscribers. Hopefully this video will bring us past that point and then soon we will be on to that 1,000 subscriber mark. But uh, anyway guys, uh, just make sure you go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already and go ahead and subscribe as well for more awesome content on you know vending I do some stuff on stock market and just business and entrepreneurship in general and I will catch you all in the next 